Clonderry Castle near Chum in County Galway is kind of hard to find and harder to get to. Sheila are stone carvings of women with exposed genitals, most often found in churches, usually near the doorway, or castles like this one. They are not unique to Ireland. They can be found throughout the British Isles and in France and some parts of Germany also. The largest number of surviving ones, about a hundred, are in Ireland. They probably date to the 12th century, are of Anglo-Norman or alternatively pre-Christian origin, and may be pro or anti-female sexuality. There are also other possibilities. Sorry about that. A half hour east of the road we're on is Rathcrogan. It was farmed 3,500 years ago and medieval accounts recount ceremonial assemblies here featuring gatherings of legal scholars, Brechon I presume, boisterous feasts and the seat of a regional government. There's a cavern, the Cave of the Cats, that not only opens into the other world, allegedly, but may be the birthplace of Halloween, allegedly. But we don't go there. We go northeast to Drumcliff, where we chance upon the grave of the poet W.B. Yeats. Yeats, it turns out, was fascinated with the authoritarian, anti-democratic nationalist movements of Europe and wrote songs, all rejected, for the Irish crypto-fascist blue shirts. Some of them went on to fight for Franco. Yeats was enamored of Mussolini, an earlier Trumpish sort of goon. He was pro-aristocrat, anti-working class, and favored public floggings. Had I known, I would have danced more like right on his grave. Here's an actual photo of Yeats' first proposal to Maud Gunn. 